Hi, my name is Sabda Nassan and I live here in Yowlin community. So I've had my first and my second. I got my second shot today. We're a bit frightened, you know. We're, we're a bit frightened. You know, this is also new to a lot of these people here. 430 kilometres south of Darwin and 200 kilometres east of the West Australian border, the community of Yarralin is home to about 300 people. We've saved a lot of night lives in this clinic, myself, the nurses and the doctors, and they should believe us rather than whatever's on Facebook. Lorraine Johns has worked as an Aboriginal health worker in Yarralin for more than two decades. She's at the front line of the remote COVID-19 vaccine rollout. We've had a good number of clients come in and get the vaccine. However, we, we have been having some resistance due to misinformation on social media. They're talking about what they've seen on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. The clinic's facing staff shortages too. Most of our clinics are one or two nurses down on, on any given day. Nurses are taking up vaccination jobs in urban centres rather than going remote. Some are locked out of the NT completely due to border restrictions. We're based in the region west of Catherine, uh, all the way to the WA border and down to the top of the Tenamai Desert. So we have a really uh, quite a massive area that we cover. It's between the size of Tasmania and Victoria. Um, resident population around about 3,000 people, um, and mostly local Aboriginal people, and that's who we are targeting with our um, vaccination campaign. In Yarralin, that means door knocking and chatting with residents. And now, a healthy cook-up at the clinic. They can come over feed and ask questions, get more information, soak it up, and hopefully they'll roll their sleeves up, eh? But it can be tricky. Every time well, all those boys sit down and talk, you know, there's always blah, 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 you know, oh, don't get that, this and that. I say to them, you know, we got countrymen. They're having a bad time down in Sydney. Some communities like Yarralin had quite a strong leadership and they were able to get um, a good initial number through the door. Um, and now the, the daily vaccination rate is, is dropping off. In the end, seven people here in Yarralin today got a vaccine dose. It may seem small, but it's not insignificant in a community where the eligible population is less than 200. But then there's the ineligible population. There's children in our family and there's, there's children under, under 12. And so if we've got that level of protection in the household, well, we're kind of looking after those kids at the same time. Children 12 to 15 are eligible for the vaccine now in the Northern Territory, but Catherine West hasn't started vaccinating that age group yet. With the rates in Yarralin now at about 35% first dose and 25% second, people are wondering what will happen when the NT reopens to places where COVID's taken hold, like Sydney and Melbourne. They're thinking that Mr Gunner is going to protect us and make the little biosecurity bubble again. She's referring to how remote communities were effectively cut off last year. But not everyone is so sure. You can't stay closed off, you know. Economics, um, countrymen want to travel, you know. Kids want to go back to school. Get your vaccine. We have it here in the clinic now today. It's not a matter of if COVID comes, it's when COVID comes and we need to be ready. And talking to people about it all can really make a difference. I think so, because just quietly I've seen some of those people that I talk with, I see them come up and get their shots. A little smile, yeah. You're right, bro. <laughs> Kate Ashton, ABC yeah. News, Yarralin.